Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and uh, this is a cross between a one-off and uh, part of our Amazon review series. Uh, that is because we were contacted by a company called Vast Fire, or Vast Fire Light, as uh, they have on their Instagram account. And they asked us if we'd be willing to do a review on one of their products. Alright guys, so here we go. Here's our uh, what we've got, and uh, this was did come out of a uh, simple bag here that has the uh, basic information on the front there uh, once we got it out of the box. First thing I'm going to say is I like this because this is not what the product is but I like the fact that it came in something like this. A, uh, a stowaway container, uh, generally these can be uh, waterproof or resistant. It's got the uh, padding in there and everything. And then we've got all of the components right here. Uh, we've got uh, all the parts and pieces here obviously we have the case here and this is a water resistant type of case uh, that it comes in and uh, you know once you're done putting everything together you still have uh, a few pieces that you could take and stow in there or you can use this for anything else like camping or or survival or whatever kind of storage that you want to use it for uh, first thing they give you some uh, velcro with the uh, sticky back there so uh, that is of course used to affix uh, some of the pieces. Uh, it does come with a battery which is great. I love the fact that they actually sent you the battery with it. And this is one of the 18650 batteries which is a 3 volt lithium battery uh, or excuse me 3.7 volt. Uh, now this one's rated for 2000 or 2400 milliamp hours. So uh, there you go there and it has of course also the sleeve that you can put it in when you slide it into the device here. Uh, and something else that is, I was surprised, uh, they actually gave us a charger to go along with it so we can keep this charged up. Uh, so you just take and slide this sucker in there, plug it in, and you can charge your battery uh, to uh, keep everything ready to go uh, for whenever you need it. And then, of course, they also have a simple Allen wrench here and of course that will be to affix uh, the pieces. Uh, well we'll go with this one here obviously this is the holder uh, this goes on a uh, on a pick or weaver type rail you have the simple thumb screw that then will take and lock it on. Now according to their Instagram and Amazon pages uh, this is for an AR-15 but of course this can be used on uh, multiple uh, devices, anything that uses uh, that type of rail, so you don't have to use it on an AR. You can use it on one of one other device or any of the other devices that have that type of rail style. Uh, it has uh, two uh, or four screws, two on either side, to do the clamp down right here, and then it has kind of an offset. So depending on which angle you have your rail, if it's on the top, it will be slightly offset so that you don't obstruct your sighting pattern. Uh, it also can be mounted on the sides, uh, obviously either in the up position or in the down position, uh, depending on how you want it uh, and what is best for you. And then of course if you happen to have one across the bottom, you can have it right or left handed as well. Uh, then we also have a, uh, a thumb button or a trigger button, touch button, that you screw into the back. You uh, then can take and that's where your uh, Velcro can come into play. Stick it to one side and then take the other piece and stick it to wherever you want to place it on your firearm or whatever you are using it for. It does not have to be a firearm if you don't want it to be. Uh, but uh, then you can use the trigger mechanisms. Now this is a two button trigger mechanism. Uh, there is a lo the lower piece, as you can see it's thinner here. That is the instant on off. So you just touch it and release and it's on when you're holding it and it's off when you release. Or you can have the, con uh, the constant or continuous on which is this larger section up here. You click it, it turns on, you click it again, it turns off. Uh, very much just like the button on the back here for this uh, Cree bulb style uh, LED flashlight. And uh, of course with this Cree style flashlight, this is of course there uh, from Vastfire. 
it is a one mode white LED. It does have the standard scalloped edge, so if you happen to have it as a single device and you need to protect yourself, that scalloped edge will of course mark your attacker. Uh, it has the sliding headpiece there and that will kind of, uh, if you have it to the back, it's going to of course give you a nice wide beam. If you slide it forward, it's going to tighten that beam down. Let me go ahead and take and unscrew the back end here, and we have the little insert. Now, the little insert here has three AAA battery um, sec sections to it, uh, so that you get your, uh, your you get your voltage that you need. Um, this will give you uh, actually three triple A's put together like this. It's going to give you actually four and a half volts. As you can see, the size is roughly the same. That is why they give you the sleeve though, because that battery is slightly smaller in diameter. So you can take and slide your battery in this way. And you then have your, you want to make sure that the positive is to the front. Now this one does happen to have the little nipple on the end. If you happen to get your own batteries, this does have a spring down here in the bottom. And uh, so you, what you can do is you can actually get the double flat type of battery. If you're going to get some batteries, you can get them with either with the nipple on the end or without it. Uh, both will work. You just have to make sure that you put uh, the positive, which is the nipple end, in first uh, because a uh, LED battery will or an LED will only work in one direction. There we go a nice bright light and as you can see it is a square beam or square light there. If you get it nice and close obviously it will round out but that gives you your di kind of your distance and focus in a small area without maybe kind of help keep you from giving away your position as much and then you can have a bright wide open beam to uh, illuminate a large area if you're not sure maybe where your target's at or something like that or whatever you're trying to do I mean target being anything that you're looking for so uh, you have that there but uh, yeah in general I mean these flashlights are great uh, I, I really like them I do have a few of them obviously uh, I did do reviews on previous ones like these this one uh, I think is it's just a little beefier it is a little bit bigger, a little heavier. Um, it's it's a thicker diameter all the way around. Uh, this is this is bigger up here. It's bigger here. Um, the one thing I will say that I would worry about a little bit with this because it's so much bigger than some of the other ones is that does add a little bit of weight. So it might add an extra ounce or two. So something you might want to consider. But when you're looking at a, uh, a light that has like these nice Cree lights that have these nice bright white light and that you can focus down for fairly long distances into a smaller point like that uh, that is really nice let's go ahead and check out what it looks like with the uh, with the push button on there so we've got the uh, instant on and you're just squeezing it and obviously on off so you can sit there and Find your target, let loose, and try to keep from giving away your position. Or of course, if you're in a distance, you can sit there and do uh, maybe some uh, Morse code or something like that. Obviously, I just did the SOS signal there. Uh, and then you've got the continuous on. Click it on, and you click it back off. And that way, you can use that instead of using maybe this piece so that you don't have to hold it on the whole time. Uh, I like that. Uh, that is a different uh, kind of option than what I've seen with most of these uh, kind of finger control type of uh, uh, activators or switches. Uh, it's really nice, I think, in terms of uh, versatility. So let's go ahead and try and put this together. So this, I mean, honestly, this looks really good. I, I can tighten this down a little bit more. I'm not going to right now. But uh, I mean, it's it's in there. Uh, the you know it's 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 tight. It's not going to go anywhere. I will say this: the entire kit, I'm actually very impressed with. Pricing is pricing is reasonable um, for for those who uh, might be on a budget. This could be something that is uh, affordable and everything. And uh, it does come with 
some pretty good features. The light itself is pretty standard um, in the aspect that it is a standard kind of Cree light that uses the 18650 or can use the three AAA batteries. The build on this, the construction on it is solid. You've got uh, machined and this is going to be uh, aircraft aluminum uh, is, is the standard kind of build for uh, these kind of lights as well. This is going to be an aluminum mount uh, with the steel uh, screws and nuts and whatnot. You've got these other pieces. Obviously, you've got it so you can do just standard handhold. Also, you have your Velcro strips that you can use, of course, to attach your your uh, finger push buttons there. And uh, you come comes with the wrench, the adapter for the batteries, as well as the charger and the uh, water resistant case. Uh, if you guys want to check this out or check out the company, you can go down there in the description below. I'll have a link to their uh, Instagram account as well as their Amazon um, site for this one. Uh, and uh, of course, while you're down there, you can check out uh, my Instagram and, and Facebook and all that kind of stuff down there with the social media, as well as there is that, uh, that PayPal link down there. And on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't done so already. I'll let you get notified when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is the World of Me. This has been a, uh, a one-off mixed in with the uh, Amazon review series. This, I'd like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.